So this lesson we're going to look at uh, Plain White T's Hey There Delilah. So we're going to start with your D chord. You probably recognize your D chord. Uh, instead of playing it with uh, one, two, three like we are here, I'm going to move my two where three was because I don't need the first string at all. So here is our D chord. I'm just going to move two where three was. So I got my first finger on the second fret of my third string, and I have my second finger on the third fret of my second string. Hope I said that right. I think so. Anyway, so in our thumb for our uh, right hand, our thumb will play the fourth string, and index and middle are going to play two and three. And the index and middle never leave two and three through the whole song. The thumb is going to flip between the different uh, strings four, five, and six, depending on the chord. And we're going to play eighth notes. We're basically just going to go thumb is going to pluck down, and index and middle will pluck up. And we're going to go one, and two, and three, and four, and. That's measure one. One, and two, and three, and four, and. All right, so back to our D chord. From the D chord, we're going to go to F sharp minor. We're going to bar the first finger across strings two and three. It kind of looks like it's barring one there too, but it's not really pressing. My third finger is going to play the fourth fret of my fourth string for an F sharp minor. Some people prefer to play this with one and two because they have trouble with the bar, in which case you can still use your third finger on the F sharp or maybe your pinky if you find the stretch is hard. Either way, it all works good. But for me, I'm going to go with just barring it for now. Uh, and our thumb, our right hand, will stay the exact same. And that will also go one and two and three and four and. Thumbs on the fourth string, index and middle are on two and three. So we're going from our D to our F sharp minor. And something about that F sharp minor, that's part of this F sharp minor chord. It's just what's happening on strings two, three, four of that full chord. Which if I back it up, half step to F minor, another half step, E minor. That E minor chord. We move it a half step forward. The nut, of course, didn't move with us, so our finger becomes the nut. F sharp minor. That's where that comes from. So we have our D, two, three, and four, and F sharp minor. Two, three, four. D, two, three, four. Remember, the right hand's playing the same thing through all of this. And that's our Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight. And right there on that uh, measure, right before it switches to the next chord, which is going to be minor, they don't play the, um, the upstroke on beat four with two and three. So you just have the F sharp on four. Four, which buys you a little bit of time to make your switch to B minor, which is going to look like this. You may recognize the chord, B minor, which if I back it up again, like we backed up the F sharp minor, there's our A minor chord. We usually play it with one, two, three, but there it is with two, three. We move it up back up to second position for B minor. Uh, because we don't need the fourth string, I'm going to move my third finger to where my pinky was, and my finger doesn't have to bar here, it just has to pro press the second fret of my fifth string. So I have uh, my uh, index finger on this B, second fret of my fifth string, I have my uh, second finger on the third fret of my second string, and my third finger on the fourth fret of my third string. And now, in the right hand, my thumb is going to pop to my fifth string, because we need that B for the root. Index and middle still stay exactly where they were. And we're, on this one, we're going to go one, two, three, so I should have said one and two and three and, you still have all those ands, one and two and three and, you're going to take that first finger away and we're going to hit that open A all by itself on beat four, so we're going one and two and three and four, then that first finger is going to come down here to the sixth string on the third fret for a G to give us part of a G chord, it's basically part of this big bar G, but again we're only playing the three strings, so now, your fingers, index, and middle are still on two and three like they are for the whole song. The thumb has now come to the sixth string. We're only going to play this for two beats, so we're just going to go one and two and. So that's our G. One and two and. Then we're going to go to A, which you probably know is that chord, but we only need strings two and three, so I'm just going to bar my first finger across two and three. My index and middle are still on two and three. Thumb is now on the fifth string. And we're just going to do that for two beats, which will be the second half of that measure. Three and four and, that's the A. Three and four and. Uh, so basically we went from G. One and two and three and four and. And then we're going to go back to B minor for a full measure. Three and four and. A one more time. And then we're going to throw the pinky in. We're just going to do that for two beats. One and two. And throw the pinky in on the fifth fret of your second string. And that will give us three and four and. So our whole verse is going D. Hey there, Delilah. F sharp minor. What's it like in New York City? Back to D. Thousand miles away. But girl, F sharp minor, you look so pretty. 
Here's your open your B, sorry. Minor do open A on B four A G times square A shine is bright back to B minor for four. A I swear it's true. And then we throw the pinky in. Back for verse two. Alright, and then our chorus is gonna start on the D also for three beats, one and two and three and then that open A, so the thumb will come to the fifth string for open A on beat four. So we're going one and two and three and four. We're going to go to B minor, same as before. We're going to go one and two and three and. Remember, your thumb had to come back to your fifth string for B minor, right? And then we're going to put our pinky to play the C sharp on beat four. So we're going to go one and two and three and four. Some people prefer to put the pinky here and then use this to play the C sharp, where you go one and two and three and four. It's up to you. But anyway, our chorus is going to go D, one, two, three, open A, B minor, two, three, C sharp. D, two, three, open A, B minor, two, three, C sharp. And that's O. Oh. Neat. And then all we're missing is our bridge. So the bridge is going to start on the G chord that we did before. So you got your first finger on the third fret of your sixth string again. Thumb comes to six now. We're going to do that for a full measure. One and two and three and four. And then we're going to go to A for a full measure. Thumb had to go back to the fifth string. Then D. Thumb moves to your fourth string. I think open A is on beat four there if you want, but you wouldn't necessarily. You could just play it all. And then uh, B minor for three beats and open A again on beat four. So our bridge is going a thousand miles, seem pretty far. That's our G, here's our A. They've got planes and trains and cars. D, I'd walk with you if I had open A another way. Here's your B minor, two, three, open A. It repeats, friends would all make fun of our A. We'll just laugh along because we know that. There's our D again, here's your open A on beat four. B minor, two, we're almost done the song, open A. We're going to go back to G again for I can promise you. I think my rhythm is wrong there while I'm like singing, but whatever. A, time that we get through. A B minor. World will never ever be the same. And we stay on B minor for two measures, so a total of eight counts, right? One and two and three and four and one and two and... And you're to blame. And there's your A for a whole measure this time. And then we throw the pinky in for a measure, as opposed to the time before where it was just half. And then we're back to, hey there, Delilah, what's it like? And for verse 3. Notice every once in a while there I put my third finger back on the D. Remember I said you could kind of play it either way with 1 and 2 or 1 and 3, but I prefer 1 and 2, although I just realized sometimes I was going back to 1 and 3. Anyway, that's the tune. Uh, I hope, uh, hope that helps. Uh, have fun.